Hello, this is going to be a quick overview or a quick demonstration of how the Zoom utility and the voiceover utility work in the Macintosh. The Zoom utility is a basic magnifier, very powerful, very simple to use. The voiceover utility is a screen reader that takes everything that you see here on the screen, all this stuff here, and wraps it to a speech synthesizer. To activate the um, magnifier, the zoom utility, you press Option, Command, and then the number 8 on the number row at the top of the keyboard. You can see everything is nice and big here. I need it to be exactly where it's at. Um, I like it. It's a comfortable distance. I can easily sit back at a normal distance and operate it just as a normally sighted person would. I have some vision, but not complete vision, and I need this at all times in order to use my Mac. Let's turn it off because uh, running both of these, running VoiceOver, the magnifier, and I show you, which is what I'm using, the de I'm using the demonstration version, hence the text on the screen. Um, running all three of those at once can put a toll in the system, so I don't want to do that. So we'll get out of here, and um, you push Function Command F5 to start the voiceover utility. And before I start it, I'm going to turn up the volume so that you can hear it okay. So again, Function Command F5. Voiceover on. Finder. Macintosh HD selected. Okay. Um, in, in case any of you are wondering if I can see this, I've done this video a couple of times um, before recording this particular presentation, so I, I, I have a pretty good idea of where everything is. Um, I mean, I can, I can see it, but I'd have to squint. I'd have to uh, put a lot more strain on my eyes, so this is going to be quick. Um, Braille is made up of six dots. The dot six here is the capital sign. Double dot six is every, that everything is capitalized. You see HD, both letters are capitalized. That's what this is. Um, the dots seven and eight down here at the bottom. Yeah, the dots seven and eight down here at the bottom are the cursor dots. We're on the hard drive. To open the hard drive, it's Commando. Open window Macintosh HD table table. So we're on applications. So again, Commando to open applications. Row one. Name, address book, selected application, date modified, February 23rd, 2008, 12.38 p.m., size, 47.5 megabytes, sort button, application. So you get all that nice information. Let's go into utilities here. Collapsed, row 38. Name, utilities, select open, row 1. Name, row voice 24. Over. Name, voiceover open. Voiceover utility. Window, voiceover utility. Table, has keyboard focus. So you have general, which is all the, like the greeting here, and uh, whether or not you have portable preferences. I, I guess that would be from a thumb drive. I don't use this all the time, but I've got a good friend that does. Um, like I said, I use the zoom utility instead. Row two, verbosity, image, verbosity. How much text is spoken? You see I have all these fields here. To navigate through here, up here you would use left and right. Otherwise, you would use tab and shift tab. You would use the up and down arrow keys to select stuff in a checkbox, or a, in, in, a, in a combo box. Row three, speech image, speech. What type, this is the, uh, what type of voice speaks what? That's what this arrow is for. Um, what type Table of voice selected. is selected? Row three, speech image, speech. And um, you have pronunciation for that voice. Row four, navigation image, navigation. In a screen reader, you don't use the mouse at all. Everything is done by the keyboard, so that's what the navigation is for. Row 5. Web. Image. Web. How VoiceOver handles the web. At this point, as far as I know, it only works with Safari. Row 6. Sound. Image. Sound. Sound. Those little dots that you heard as we... those little blips. Row, row 6. Sound. Image. Sound. Yeah, that blip right there. Row, row 6. Sound. Image. Sound. Right after it said row six and you heard that little blip, that's what that is. Row seven, visuals, image, visuals. Visuals is this little box here. Row eight, numpad, image, numpad. If I had a numpad hooked up to the system, that's what uh, these settings would be for. Row nine, braille, image, braille. This is a virtual braille display, but uh, these settings would apply to this 
essentially, if this were a physical braille display, in other words, the, there would be pins actually popping up and you would feel these characters with your fingers. These settings affect the braille display and some braille displays... Table one row selected. Row nine. Braille image. Braille. Um, some braille displays have input. So, like from the six dot braille keys, you can you can type stuff directly in. If a braille display were connected, you'd have all sorts of information in here. The nice thing about the Macintosh is that it's plug and play. A lot of Windows screen reading applications um, have to be tweaked in order to use some displays properly. Whereas this one, it's completely built in. The voiceover utility is built into the operating system. Every single major display on the market is supported. Let's get out of here because I want to show you one more thing before I quit. Finder, window, utilities, table. And that is if we go into all documents down here. Table, no, row one. Eight, 1363 rows added. So let me see. Row 29, name, Mac OS, up, row 30, row 31, name, 10, the roving gambler, dot M4E, kind, MPEG 4 audio, row finder, ready. Row 37, row 38, name, Three mule train to rope finder ready. Rope finder ready. Row 63. Name. Row 67. Name. Six underline web underline browser underline and underline streaming underline media 3.mp3. I wanted to show you the fact that uh, Quick Look does work with voiceover. So we're on an audio track here. So if I push space. Window. The web Quick browser Quick in Browner just time. keeps getting better and better. There is Quote. some handling time. that. Nine Table one of pop-up windows in Brown Oden Park, and also it's nice and fast. What I'm going to do now to demonstrate some of the new features and, you can view and uh, something really big that I'm sure audio, You can view an audio table document, you can listen to an audio document, view a text document through a quick look, and you get out of here by pushing either space or escape, whichever one suits you best. Okay, if, any, if you couldn't hear me on that, you can use Quick Look with VoiceOver to preview text documents, uh, space to activate, escape to quit. Um, I show you, window, I show you, presets, table, has keyboard focus. There's a lot more to this, but like I said, I don't use it all the time. Um, I have a friend who does. She seems to be pretty snappy with it. And from what I've heard from her, she said that it is much better than Windows. So, um... It is a lot. Is is, is it, there is a learning curve, but once you get used to it, it's amazing. A lot of people who are blind do not do not have the luxury on their Windows machines of taking it out of the box and being able to use it right away. You have to install your screen reader. You have to configure your screen reader. It's just a whole bunch of hassle. Plus, the screen reading software is at least five hundred dollars on top of the initial purchase of your system. So, um, yeah, this is just a much more robust solution. And I think it's just fantastic. Uh, thank you for watching. Any questions, please don't be afraid to comment. And I hope you have a good day.